Alright, and with having reached the halfway point last uh, episode, we are actually gonna start our sixth duel out of the 10 duels, so let's get into it. Oh my god, I'm reading some amazing things here. Your opponent is dueling with a deck based around Yuria, <laughs> Lord of Searing Flames Hamon, Lord of Striking Thunder, and Raviel, Lord of Phantasms. Once they bring them out, you will be at risk uh, of being overwhelmed by their high attack and powerful effects. Nah, powerful effects not so much, but high attack, definitely. All 4000, uh, except for Yuria. But, um, first, make sure that your opponent doesn't have anything on the field that they can stop. Uh, wait, that can stop your effects, such as spell traps. Then you can use monster effects like those of Elemental Hero Magma Neos and Rainbow Dragon. We have Rainbow Dragon in here? Interesting. To return all uh, the cards on your opponent's field to their hand or deck. Yeah, that will be powerful. Um, why I said that I was so happy because... Um, or happy to read this because... Um, Sacred Beasts is actually my one of my... Actually, the... No, the actually... There's no other one that's um, more among my favorite lists than this one. Um, this is my favorite deck out of all for sure. Um, it's just so amazing how it works completely fine in the team to go format where you just stick to your own team. You don't um, have to include anything else. It does also doesn't work even that well with uh, many extra deck monsters. You, you can go into rank 10s and stuff like that, but... Um, staying in the Team Jugio format, this is uh, just a uh, really amazingly strong deck and I uh, love it. Um, also because of the synergy with continuous all continuous spells and all continuous traps as well, which uh, not a lot of deck decks have, so um, yeah, I love it. Um, okay, so with being aware of how those cards work, but not so much aware of how our cards will work, because uh, Magma Neos, <laughs> I actually kind of forgot what that monster was. I know Rainbow Dragon from uh, Crystal Beasts, but... Let's see what we can uh, make. Oh wow, we have Neo's Fusion. This is an amazing start already. Yeah, so Crystal Beats, Beasts. Let's uh, see. Okay, so yeah, the opening of the Spirit Gates. Add to the hand. You, this is a normal summon. Dark Beckoning Beast. Normal summon your Dark Beckoning Beast. Add to the hand. What? That is not the card I expected you would add to the hand. But normal summon for Chaos Core. <laughs> it plays an inferior version of the deck, I see. When either player activates a card effect that, uh, effect that targets this card, or when your opponent's monster targets it for an attack pick effect, you can send up to one of each Yuria, uh, so all three of the Sacred Beasts, from your hand or deck to the graveyard. And if you do, place one Phantasm counter, counter on this card for each card sent to the graveyard. And if you place at least one, you take no battle damage this turn. Okay, but it does die, right? Yeah, I don't see it. It still dies by battle, like it doesn't negate the attack or anything. It just sends them to the graveyard, which is useful for their fusion play. Um, because for the fusion plays, you can also banish from the graveyard. Um, okay, you can only use this effect of Chaos Core once per turn. If this card would be destroyed by battle or card effect, ah, you can remove one Phantasm counter from this card instead. I see now, I see. Okay, um, but yeah, we have Neos, Neos Fusion in the hand, and if I'm not mistaken, we have Rainbow Dragon in the deck. And it does mean that we can get out... Um, yep, exactly, Rainbow Over Dragon. Uh, uh, wait, no, there's even a better one, right? Where's the... Um, I forgot his name. It's like Rainbow Neos? Yeah, that's the, that's the name, Rainbow Neos. We don't have the monster? No! Oh, boy. We don't have Rainbow Neos. Okay, okay, that is actually not too good. What do we... What, what can we even special summon with this? All oh, Elemental Hero Neos monsters. So, also this one. Um, yeah, then I'll have to look into it. Must be fusion summon, gains 100 attack for each, yeah. When it destroys opponent's monster by battle, you can add one spell trap from here. That might be really useful, that's... I'm just not sure which cards are in here. Uh, so this is also one. We can probably send... Uh, we probably have this in the deck, so we can send it to the graveyard. Must first be special summon from here. Wait, do we have it in the deck? Right? We should, right? Otherwise they wouldn't include it in the extra deck. Okay. Um, yeah, okay, okay, this card gains 400 attack. This is not too good. This is just... Um, they're all boosted effects of their monsters, basically, like Flame, Flare, Scarab. They're all boosted effects of that. Uh, but this one is actually really good. If this card's target is not already targeting a monster, you can target one face-up effect monster on the field while you control this face-up card. The target's effect's negated. Okay, but this is also when either player targets, activates a card or effect that targets this card. Yeah, so that wouldn't work. Mm. Then we have Elemental Hero Glow Moss. This is also a really good one. During end, during the end phase, shuffle this card, okay? Once during, during your main phase one, target one face-up card your opponent controls, destroy that target, then apply this effect based on... Spell, this can attack directly. Okay, so we, and we would love to destroy opening up Spirit Gate because it's a really good card. Um, wait, um, this. Okay, so Glow Moss is actually definitely a good option. Grand Mole is once per turn, you can target one monster your opponent controls, return the target to the hand during the end phase. So, okay, yeah, that's on, that's not useful against these monsters because they're normal summonable anyway. Um, then we have Aqua. Okay, this is also really good. Once per turn, you can discard one card, destroy one random card in your opponent's hand. The, okay, that's also, well, I'm uh, debating. Okay, then we have Magma, which 
which requires three, so we cannot get this out with uh, Neo's Fusion, because Neo's Fusion only says two monsters. This card gains 400 attack for each card on the field, once per turn during the end phase. Okay, wait, what? That's it? This card gains 400 attack for each card on the field, that's it? I mean, that's high attack, that could be high attack. Uh, oh, wait, 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 there's... Uh, if this card shoveled into the extra deck this way, return all cards on the field to, to the extra, to the hand. Okay, okay, yeah, that's that's his signature effect. Uh, then we have Chaos, Chaos Neos, also three monsters. Um, mm -hmm, once returned in the end phase, also interesting. Yep. And if you do, set all face-up monsters on the f field. What? Set all face-up monsters on the field, so they are turned to face-down position. This is such a weird wording. Okay, so once per turn during the end phase, shuffle this card back into the uh, card into the extra deck, and if you do, set all face up monsters on the field. Uh, that's very interesting. Once per turn during your main phase one, you can toss a coin three times. Just three destroy all monsters your opponent controls, non-targeting destroy. That would get rid of this, but we can't get it out by the way. Uh, two heads for the rest of this turn. The effects of all face up monsters your opponent controls on the gate also doesn't target. Really great. One return all monsters you control to the hand. They're all really good. Wow, this is a, this is a really cool monster. I like it. Um, yeah, and this is just uh, must. Either be fusion summoned or special summoned by tributing one level one uh, ten ultimate crystal monster, so that can only be rainbow dragon in, th in this deck. I'm pretty sure. So uh, yeah, this monster we don't look at that much. Okay, so then we look at our hand. Sorry for the long reading, but I think that's actually really interesting to find out what we have in the extra deck. Um, okay, so this is the regular one. This, these are not the advanced uh, cards, advanced crystal beast uh, archetype. But okay, when this card special summoned, you can special summon as many crystal beast monsters. Uh, monster cards from your pos as possible from your spell and trap zones. If this face of card is destroyed, um, okay, wait, I'm not gonna read that every time, but this is the effect that all Crystal Beast monsters share. If you did not know yet, if this face of card is destroyed in a monster zone, you can place this, um, place it face up in your spell and trap zone as a continuous spell instead of sending it to the graveyard. So uh, this monster has the same effect. I'm not gonna read that, but it has actually a really good effect, which reads: When this card is summoned, you can place one Crystal Beast monster from your hand, deck, or graveyard. Face up in your spell and trap zone. Yeah, so that's useful. And this, okay. This uh, actually says if you have two Crystal Beast cards in your spell and trap zone, you can special summon one Crystal Beast monster from your deck, which is great. Also, target one Crystal Beast card in your spell and trap zone, special summon the target. Okay, then we have Neo's Fusion, and then we have. Wait, Neo's Fusion, I didn't read it, I'm sorry. Um, special summon one Fusion monster from your extra deck. List uh, That lists exactly two monsters, that's why we cannot get the extra deck monsters out, which lists three monsters, um, including Elemental Hero and Neo's. By sending those uh, monsters from your, basically your deck, that's what's gonna happen, uh, to the graveyard, uh, ignoring its summoning conditions. Okay. For the rest of this turn, after this card resolves, you cannot special summon monsters. Okay, you cannot special summon monsters for the rest of this turn. Okay, so that's at the end. That's uh, We should play this at the end, basically. If a future monster you control that lists Elemental Hero Neos as material would be destroyed by battle or card effect or shuffled into the extra deck by its own effect, you can banish this card from your graveyard instead. Okay. Um, so let's start with this. Place one in our. Yeah, we have yeah, we probably have one of each. <laughs> I figured. Okay, uh, they they none of them have effects in the um, spell and trap zone, so doesn't really matter. Oh wait, I didn't read the uh, crystal rag. Okay, send one crystal beast card from your spell and trap zone to the graveyard and target one card your opponent controls. Destroy that target. Okay. 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 Mm. Does it does it really matter? Uh, we can basically use this and special summon the monster that we will put in the put here right now but yeah we cannot get over chaos core <laughs> that's so unfortunate um but we will hopefully find an out with uh rainbow's Rain neos fusion okay so this is useless this is also this just gives attack mm, won't help if he gets his uh, sacred beasts out mm, i guess maybe you they're all really bad effects i'm not gonna i don't think i'm gonna read them all unless they're gonna be used but um, yeah, so this for example has, if this face, uh, no, you can target one monster you're, you control that attack this turn, change the target of, uh, to defense position, that's it's really useless, but it might be able to get rid of Dark Beckoning Beast, right, so. So let's do it, let's summon um, an attack, because you can change him to defense anyway, um, and then activate Neo's Fusion. Okay, so let's see, we have Panther. Target one face of effect monster on the field, that's really good. This was discard one card, destroy one random card in your opponent's hand. Uh, this was useless. This was pretty good as well, I find it. Uh, yeah, it destroys a spell spell card. I think this is the way to go. It will attack directly, uh, fine, but it's more about destroying the, sp uh, the spell card that he has. And we also have this, which adds a spell trap to the hand. And I'm not so sure what's in the deck, so I'll go save and um, go for the glow, glow Neo Sway. This is correct, right? Main phase one, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, sounds good. Um, send this to the graveyard and this. Oh, 
And this here. Okay, welcome. Um, we activate its effect. We destroy it. Um, okay, I think we're just gonna destroy this Chaos Core by battle. I think it's a little troublesome to get rid of otherwise. Um, do we, does he take battle damage? Will be short for battle card effect? Yeah, so he does take battle damage. Um, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, wait, I clicked. <laughs> that was not smart. Mm, okay, so let's destroy this. And let's not attack you, actually, because um, otherwise he's gonna get a. He's gonna get a Phantasm counter and send all the cards to the graveyard and everything. So um, we activate its effect. Wait, that attack this turn. Ah, I see now. I completely forgot. Bah, so we shouldn't have changed anything to attack, but that's fine. End phase. This will shuffle itself. Use the effect. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, do we though? Because it shuffles it back every end phase, right? During the end phase, yeah, so otherwise it will shuffle itself back during the opponent's end phase anyway. So we don't use the effect. Doesn't really matter. We could have set this card actually, now that I think of it. Because if this card dies. Okay, so he's gonna special summon. He cannot use his battle phase anymore. Dark summon in these. Welcome, Hamon. Yep, banish and add a Chris, uh, Sacred Beast to the hand. Yep, that's fine. Okay. He has a field spell, draws two cards, Spot of Greed, every turn. And there is opening of Spirit Gates again. Amazing. Adds Raviel to the hand. Okay, does he have the fusion yet? Yes, he does. Okay, Dimension Fusion. Okay, then... Wait, aren't we dead? Yeah, he just attacks this monster and we're dead. Special summon one fiend with zero attack and defense. Welcome to the field. Add to the hand. Yep, okay, per perfect. I love these plays though. Like, the deck is amazing. And I don't play the, with the fusion myself, but... Oh my god, what did he do? He used he used this attack. Uh, effect, I mean... Uh, wait, it's vanished now. Um, this. Also, for the uh, monsters, you control cannot attack for the rest of this turn. That's what he used. And he got this out with 10,000 attack. Oh man, must first be special summoned by banishing the above you control. You do not choose polymerization. Cannot be destroyed by battle against 10,000 attack during your turn only. It will just get destroyed now? He doesn't have any protection that I can think of. This just uh, okay, uh, protects them from card effects, destruction by card effects, which is not useful. Okay, well, let's activate Crystal Bond. Um, sorry, this is, by the way, add one Crystal Beast monster from your deck to the hand and place one in your spell and trap zone. Uh, we will add to the hand. This honestly, it really doesn't matter that much. Um, maybe one with high attack, maybe you. Crystal Ember, and let's place in our spell trap zone. You. Come forth. Okay, so then we activate, or summon, I mean. Um, then we battle. And we just destroy his monster. This cannot be destroyed by battle. Why does he not take battle damage? Hmm. Maybe the fusion spell. Okay, banish from your hand. No, you're, okay, ignoring summon conditions. You take no battle damage from attacks involving that monster, special summon by this effect. Nice. That is nice. And this is target one card your opponent controls, destroy it, which is nice, but we first have to destroy Fallen Paradise, which is amazing, I love the deck. Um, okay, so this is not gonna work, I completely forgot that he doesn't take battle damage. And of course, uh, also by the way, it cannot be destroyed by, by battle, just says here, so. Um, yeah, and we are playing with an, unfortunately, what I feel is not a really competent deck. Um, Wait, I misplayed, of course. I shouldn't have attacked with these monsters. Then I could change them to defense, and now we're gonna die. End phase. We're just, we're just dead, because the max that we can do is destroy Fallen Paradise, and that's it. He's just gonna attack with 10,000, if he's smart. Wait, 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 yeah, we destroy it. He was gonna draw two with that, but... Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Again, he just attacks over this monster, and we're dead. We should've kept in defense, really. Okay, he's gonna special summon, yep, special summon, chaos core, okay, and then add it back to the hand. This is so useless, he it achieves com exactly nothing with this. <laughs> Why would you do that? Okay, yeah, GG. This has an effect? Oh, he can change it to <laughs> this attack target. Oh, dang, <laughs> these, these uh, crystal beast monsters, yeah, of course, attack me. <laughs> oh boy, okay, well, it's amazing to see the crystal beast in action, especially to get defeated by the hands of, um, um, what is his name? <laughs> I completely forgot his name. I don't play with the fusion myself, unfortunately, but like uh, the fusion monster of uh, the Sacred Beast monsters. To die by his hand is uh, an honor. Okay, let's see. So first of all, keep our monsters in defense. That's, uh, that sounds like a good plan. Okay, Neo's fusion again, Crystal Blessing, which is 
less. But it might be good in this uh, in this format, or basically in this deck that we have been giving. Okay, Conclave is actually pretty good. Uh, okay, so wait, so we have Amethyst. It has can attack your opponent directly, but when it uses effect, any battle damage flicks to your opponent is halved, and it also ha only has 1,200 attack. Like why? Why would it even be halved? It's they're all super super old cards and don't have uh, great effects. Advanced Crystal Beasts have a little bit better effects, but I personally feel that they're still not um, caught up yet to the power level that. Um, we are currently in. Okay, target up to two crystal. Even in the te team Chugio format, by the way. So even in the team Chugio format, we have stronger decks. Even sacred beasts, I think, are pretty strong. Um, and I think advanced crystal beasts uh, don't really meet with that uh, power level. Okay, target up to two crystal beasts, monster in graveyard. Place those target face up in your spell and trap zone. So that's actually pretty nice. And then we have conclave. Once per turn, if a face up crystal beast monster you control is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can special summon one crystal beast monster from your deck. That is actually not too bad. You can send this face up card from your field to the grave and target one crystal beast card you control and one card on the field to return them to the hand. You cannot activate these effects in the same chain. Okay, then we have ultimate crystal. When your crystal beast monster is destroyed, you can send seven crystal beast cards with different names. Do we have the eighth though? Like the green um, something with dragon in the same crystal crystal beast dragon or something? Um, that's the eighth eighth one. Um, because otherwise we cannot use this if we only have one of each, uh, one copy of each uh, crystal beast in the hand. Okay, so first of all we normal summon, doesn't really matter, then we use Neos Fusion is not useful in the first turn because it's going to shuffle itself back during the end phase. Um, so then we just use con our set Conclave and set Ultimate Crystal Magic and then go to the end phase. Let's hope that he destroys our monster. Because with the Sacred Beast monsters it's really easy to get the uh, Sacred Beast out in the during the first turn. Um, let's see, is set set pass? Okay, <laughs> very interesting. Then we are definitely gonna activate Neo's Fusion. Neo Space, that's perfect. Perfect timing. Okay, so yeah, we don't have any other fusions uh, or special summons to make, so that's why we activate Neo's Fusion immediately. Uh, no, we don't chain anything, thank you. Um, I think this is a great one. Oh, this is amazing. But do you have to discard? Crystal Blessing, yeah, we can discard it. Yeah. We don't really need that. Um, then we have this target one card or opponent one face of card, so that doesn't work. This uh, destroys an opponent's monster by battle. You can add one spell. To I I think I'm gonna go for this because just in the in the off chance that they will give us this monster more in the future battles in the future duels, then I would like to know what other cards are in the in the deck. I could also just look at the deck, but I I'd like to be surprised a little. So even though I don't think this is the best choice right now, I think um, yeah, Aqua Neos is the best choice right now. Um, I'm gonna go with Brave, just for knowledge, and um, it also has the Shuffle Back effect, or must be Fusion Summoned from a Grave when this card destroys some monster by battle, you can add one. It doesn't have the Shuffle Back effect. Very interesting. Then, I actually think, uh, there, because we also have Neo Space in the hand, which is a perfect combination with any of these monsters that shuffle themselves back, um, then I think we'll find out about the spells and traps regarding Elemental Hero and Brave Neos uh, some other time. Right now we will go with Aquaman. Let's go. Aqua Dolphin to the graveyard. Neos to the graveyard. And special summon. Okay. Perfect. And activate Neo Space. Gain 500 attack, which is completely fine. Um, nope, we don't change that. Okay, so I think we first activate this effect, right? Why not? Discard. Destroy one random card in our opponent's hand. Chaos Core. Not, not bad, not bad. Okay, so let's go to the battle phase. He has only monsters with zero defense, I'm pretty sure. So uh, let's... No, don't attack directly. Just destroy his monster. Yep, okay, summoning beast. He doesn't have a... Chris, uh, not crystal beast. <laughs> sacred beast in the hand. Because you can uh, normal summon this card normally. And tribute this card and special summon one of the sacred beasts immediately from your hand. Ignor ignoring summoning conditions. Which is an amazing effect. Um, yeah, no, don't check me. Okay, powerful energy is this dude's name, by the way. Which is uh, interesting, to say the least. Okay, we don't have cards in the hand anymore. Um, yeah, we don't we don't use this. So, activate the effect. No. Okay, perfect. Let's go. No misclicks today. Okay, set a monster and pass. Or oh yeah, add one Fallen Paradise. That is fine. Go ahead, sir. sir. Fallen Paradise is no threat unless he gets a, sac a sacred beast on the field. That sound. That's not from your computer, just so you know. That's uh, from mine. That uh, shows that a video is complete. Um, Okay, let's see. Yeah, we can return to the hand, but he will get a search. We can't do mu much about it. Oof, this is gonna get... Oh boy, okay. No, we have to return this back to the hand. So you can send this face-up card and target one crystal piece. Throw on one card on the field, return them to the hand. You cannot activate... Uh, which which card do we return to the hand? 
this, even this he can get. Uh, we have to flip it anyway. Um, but yeah, he's gonna use its effect. And then we probably return the, um, the the sacred beast to the hand. I think that's uh, that's the best best one. Okay, so let's go and then activate it. Please activate. Yeah, thanks. Okay, return this back to the oh to the graveyard. It is. Wait, what? 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 Wait, hold up. Oh, okay. Wait, first. Hold up. I, I'm not caught up with the effect. You can send this face of card from the field to the grave. Then target one crystal beast yard card to control and what card on the field. Return them to the hand. Okay, so we return this to the hand and we return this to the hand. Okay. Perfect. Because otherwise he would have gotten out Fallen Paradise and that would... Um, no, don't do that. Um, Fallen Paradise and that would allow him to draw two cards and even pop off more. It would provide protection for his Sacred Beast and yeah, it's just uh, a really good card. Okay, so this card can attack directly, which is not useful at all. But it does have some attack at least. So let's activate this and let's hope that we destroy the Yuria in Ascent. Fallen Paradise. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Uh, battle. Let's destroy you. Uh, nope, we don't have to attack directly. Okay, and attack. So only 800 life points. I'm uh, really surprised that his face down cards are nothing. And face. Uh, nope, we don't shuffle back. Thank you for the for asking. Dun, 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 dun. You can banish this card. I'll fall in paradise. <laughs> Go ahead, sir. Fallen paradise is not gonna scare us. Sent. Yeah, <laughs> set. <laughs> that is fine. Okay, let's see what we draw. If it's not useless, we can, uh, if it's not useful, then we can just discard it. Um, yeah, it is. It is useless, so um, we are gonna discard it. Elemental hero Aquanios is actually saving the game here, so I'm glad we chose that. We will find out about the other cards some other day. Okay, Dimension Fusion. Bye bye. Um, battle. <laughs> we just don't make it with this. Uh, with this uh, directly. Yeah, direct direct attack. We don't make it because it's uh, 1200 divided by two, which is 600 and doesn't make it, unfortunately. Um, Again, he doesn't have any high attack monsters, or high defense monsters, we know this from Sacred Beast. So, this is it, powerful energy. I think um, this battle could be quite a bit harder if you're not aware of how the Sacred Beast uh, combo works. Because uh, that's what I've experienced, uh, experienced a lot. Um, I played a lot with that uh, deck, I actually reached Platinum 1 with uh, the Team Yu Gi Oh deck of um, Sacred Beasts. So not splashing in generic uh, cards in the main deck or extra deck. Uh, so no Ash Blossom, no Maxi, no board breaking cards like Lightning Storm, Harpy Feather Duster, nothing of those. And even in the extra deck, no uh, Axis Code Talk or Firewall Dragon or Rank 10s, Xyz, nothing like that. Um, so without all those cards stay, staying true uh, to the team, I, we still made it to the Platinum uh, rank. So that was actually Platinum 1 rank, which was a really, really big um, challenge. So that's why I kind of know the, the deck pretty well. Okay, so enough said, let's try this out with our Inferno deck. This will be a challenge, I think. And uh, I'm purposely gonna try it with the Inferno deck first, because I think the um, Inferno Lair deck, like with Lair of Darkness, will actually own the Sacred Beasts, because uh, they have good protection, the Sacred Beasts, if they're set up, but um, not against being tributed. <coughs> okay, let's see. Normal summon, yeah, okay, he adds the... What? Why would you not add the the continuous spell to the hand? Okay, no, he messed up. He should have added the continuous spell to the hand because then you can add a the same monster to the hand actually. But you you would then also have the continuous spell. Okay, so let's see what you have. I see that we play by the way Monster Gate in here. I saw that, but it actually doesn't. It kind of synergizes with the deck, but um, it doesn't like it. It works better with the Lair of Dark Darkness deck because then you can tribute one monster, right? And then you can just immediately tribute your opponent's monster. Okay, um, enough said. Let's. Activate Void Vanishment, yep. Okay, and activate it, and discard one card. Let's discard you. Yeah. Okay, and add to the hand. You, for the Apocalypse. Okay. Activate that as well. We discard Saitsamas. Uh, discard, yep. Discard Saitsamas. And send to the Graveyard. An uncle? Okay. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. I'm thinking because um, what we could do right now is special summon Saitsamas by banishing two from the graveyard. Attack, banish one card on the field. I think that will be amazing. We could just banish this. Or leave it on the field because what is this gonna do? Like it's it's uh, it's not that good of card. I don't play it in the deck also. Um, so I think that's gonna be the play. 
Uh, but I, basically, I would love to make use of Monster Gate right now because we could flip a lot of monsters to the graveyard and uh, go ham with Void Imagination. But um, uh, let's just uh, let's just take it easy. Banish, banish. Okay, face upon the field, um, and then go to the battle phase. We attack. This is the weakness of uh, Sacred Beasts. If you if you don't play with the extra deck, because if you play with the extra deck, you can just uh, link this away for El Mirage. El Mirage, which is part of the uh, an, an archetype, I'm not sure which, um, but yeah, you can uh, just link it away for that, and then you don't have the the weak point here, I guess, for zero attack um, attack position monster. So, okay, attack, and then we banish one card on the field. Nope, we don't do skill set, but then we go to the end phase. Uh, sorry, end of the battle phase. This, and then we banish one card on the field. Uh, his field is face down cards didn't seem to do much. So I think what I'm going to do is just banish this monster, yeah. Okay, let's go. Mm, and I think that's going to be it. Let's go to the end phase. Oh, and the banish effect of uh, Infernoids can actually do pretty well. End phase! Okay, so he's... we just blocked him pretty well. Let's see what we draw. Into the void? Okay, we will then definitely use that. We can set these spell cards if it's necessary. Let's see what we draw. We draw another side some us. That's actually not bad. Um, is there a great spell trap that we can add to the hand? Probably not, only trap cards. Which... Hmm. Yeah, no, oh wait, yeah, okay, that's fine, that's fine. I'll discard you, side some us. Nope, don't chain. And then we send to the graveyard. Uh, Deviati, I guess, why not? Um, then we use the same thing here, and I think I'm gonna discard Muscate. Uh, nope. And then we add to the hand. Oh, we can also add Void Expansion. That's also a pretty good card. Hmm. Okay, yeah, no, I think I'm, I think I'm gonna go for it. Void Expansion, actually. Let's go. Activate. And... Nope. So we could do two things. This is... Target one monster in the field, Ben. Uh, nope. Okay, so we could do two things. We could basically either special summon this uh, Harmadic on the... On the field, or Sightsmas, another Sightsmas, and uh, Sightsmas. His effects are no once per turns, nor hard once per turns. So, uh, but wait, there are once per turns, but it's just not hard once per turns. So uh, let's banish these from the hand, and let's special summon, and let's go to the battle phase. If I'm not mistaken, this should be exactly. Oh no, dang, I am mistaken. <laughs> Apologies. It's, uh, of course, 52 together, and he had 54. Okay, um, that is unfortunate. Main phase 2. And end phase. Oh, wait, I completely forgot. We have to discard. Ah, it doesn't really matter. Discard it just halves our battle damage. Like, that's the bad part about it. End phase. Okay, yeah, so this is not a good battle, unfortunately. Uh, we... Maybe we blocked him really well in the, in the first part, but we can also block him, like, in other ways very well, because we can still tribute one monster to banish a card from his graveyard. And he... Sacred Beasts work a lot with the cards in the graveyard, so... Okay, so, uh, yeah, let's not waste any time. Let's go to the battle phase and um, finish this dude off. Don't let him uh, suffer. Powerful energy, down you go. Okay, so that was actually... Um, I hoped to see... I ho had hoped to see more of the Sacred Beast deck, but he does play an inferior version. Um, is what I believe, because I, I, I don't even include Yuria, uh, which means that you can have or must throw out the uh, entire fusion package as well because for the fusion package you need all three of the um, sacred beasts um okay so yeah with these uh, amazing rewards of uh, two legacy packs in the pocket let's um continue with these with the next uh, duo in the next episode and i hope to see you there peace out